All right, what's going on, guys? I am bringing you Road to a Ranked Play 100 Plus, episode number two. I'm not going to put the, the score in the title, or I'm not going to say in the video. I don't know. People were freaking out about that, so I will not do that. I, I don't know. People have always asked me about that. I, I find it, like, the other way. Like, I want to know the score, but um, I guess most people don't, so I don't know. But I won't put it in there. Uh, I don't want to spoil it or whatever, so there you go. Anyways, you're going to be watching some Retreat Hardpoints. This is actually, like, old ranks play footage uh before the recent update but i wanted to get this video out because of the recent update i wanted to talk about it so basically uh, a couple days ago with the with the main update to pubs and everything they also fixed rank play it's now extremely similar to black ops 2 i would say it's still not as good uh but it's pretty close and i'd say the only thing they have better than black ops 2 is with the ranking system you can see how much xp you need to go to the next level which i'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing because then um i think it makes it easier because then you, you just you have to get a total amount of xp rather than like beating specific people i don't know if that makes sense i don't know i think you know what i'm saying but in black ops 2 like to go to master you'd have to beat masters um you couldn't just sit there and beat bronzes for 40 games in a row and it wouldn't put you in master uh you have to beat like masters to get you know put in there areas in this game i'm it's just 100 percent based on xp so you could just sit there and beat up on you know terrible players all day and eventually you will get put in master so I don't know. Anyways, that's like the only flaw I see with it, but other than that, it's pretty cool. Uh, one thing also, they do, they advertise and they put in the patch notes that there will no longer be a join session. Uh, you, you won't join games in session, but that's not true. You still do join games in session, but it's pretty rare. It's, I, I think I played around 10 games yesterday, and I only got put in a game like once, so... It's, it's a lot more difficult for it to happen, but it can still happen because people were getting put in my games late, you know, when the enemies would rage quit or whatever. So, uh, it's definitely still possible, but it's just a lot less frequent. So, I mean, I guess that's a step forward in the right direction, but I just, I don't see why that should even happen at all. Uh, it, it re I don't, like, it can't be that hard for them to make it to where you don't join a game in session. I mean, Black Ops 2 did it easily two years ago. You know, Halo did it over ten years ago on the fucking old consoles, so I just... I don't see why it's so hard for them to make it to where you don't join a game in session, especially when they when they advertise that that's how they made it, but it's not true. So that that kind of blows my mind a little bit that they they would do that, but you know it's whatever. Uh, hopefully, eventually they'll get it fixed. It's just annoying losing XP, especially for the people who are actually like trying to grind the shit and get to the grandmaster or whatever. It's it must be so annoying to lose XP from joining a game late. Like that just that has to be like the worst feeling. So I don't know. I just think that's a bit of a flaw that they should probably get fixed but other than that it's pretty much the exact same they updated all the esports rules and stuff to where it's the exact same uh they put in like the respawn delay and hardpoint and they they banned uav and all that type of stuff so that's pretty cool and also streaks are allowed but i think streaks are actually allowed in mlg just they're not very like useful so people don't use them but i believe they are allowed the only thing i think is different is there is no team kill there might be but i don't think there is i don't feel like there is so I think it's pretty much the exact same as Black Ops 2 now, you know, where they didn't have the team kill and stuff. Um, and obviously none of the weapons are banned, I don't think. Maybe like launchers and shit, I don't know, I never even tried using it, but it doesn't really matter. Because uh, I know in Black Ops 2, like, the Cap 40 was still allowed even at the end of the year when it was actually banned. But I don't think any of that is going to be happening t yet in this game because they haven't really banned anything. So, anyways, it's pretty much the same, so if you guys want to get on the grind or whatever, start playing it. Uh, I definitely recommend trying it now because it's much better than it was in the beginning. So I tried, I tried playing it to see if I could do a road to uh, Grandmaster Rank One or whatever, and I'm not. I'm honestly, I'm not sure if I can. Uh, mainly because it seems to be in this game where it's a lot, a lot, a lot. Like I mean, a fucking lot harder for me to carry like shitty teammates than it was in Black Ops 2 because in Black Ops 2 a lot, a lot of the hills were open. Like, they weren't in buildings, and so when I'd get score streaks, I can just use the score streaks to clear the hill, and then we get control of the hill. It was pretty easy. But in this game, most of the hills are inside buildings, and you can't really use score streaks to clear them. You have to clear them with gun kills. So it just makes it really hard when I have, like, a shitty team. Like, I'd have to go... I have to break every hill myself by getting, like, a three-piece. And it's so annoying. Like, I played... I don't know. I'd say I played around ten games yesterday of Hardpoint. I just wanted to try it out, see how it was, and I I easily dropped f above 40 kills. I'm pretty sure in nine out of the ten games. I'm pretty sure, and I only won one game out of ten games. I won one game, 
and I dropped 40 kills in all of them. And it, it wasn't like a Black Ops 2 40 kills where, you know, I, I milk for streaks and, I you know, I, I push out spawns and stuff. In this game, like, I'm actually kind of forced to play OBJ in, uh, in league play. Because there's no point in not doing it because the spawns are already, like, kind of fucked up anyway. So, there's no point in trying to push out spawns because just the whole way this game works, pushing out spawns isn't as important as it was. So, I kind of, I actually, like, play OBJ and I'm on the hill and stuff. And I'm dropping 40 while being on the hill and we're still losing by, like, 100 points. So... I'm honestly not sure if if I can do a, a road to Grandmaster, at least a solo road to Grandmaster, because uh, I, I don't think I'll get there, to be honest. I, you just literally can't carry shitty teammates in this game. It's so difficult, so we'll have to see, but uh, I'm going to keep experimenting with it for the rest of this month, and uh, hopefully around New Year's, you know, or next year, I guess, I will maybe start a series i don't know we'll have to see but this whole next month i'm gonna just kind of mess around with it and see how everything's going but i'm pretty sure they're gonna they're gonna change the rule sets again anyway so uh that's gonna be a good thing because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna take off the respawn delay in hard point because of the new spawns but anyways that's pretty much it i just wanted to get that in there as well but that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like rating if you did subscribe if you're not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out